Welcome back to Arthritis Now. Today we're going to be talking to Dr. Ying Tri Li from the University of Hartford, who's studying osteoarthritis. ANRF funded Dr. Li just a few years ago, and we're excited to catch up with her about her research. Hi, Dr. Li. Thank you very much for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. So if you could start off by telling us what your title is and the institution that you are a part of. Sure. Uh, well, I'm currently a full-time faculty uh, in University of Hartford, in West Hartford, Connecticut. Um, well, I started this job since uh, fall 2013, and I'm also associated with the Yukon Health Center as adjunct assistant professor uh, in University of Hartford Health Center. And that I'm associated with the Center of Regenerative Medicine uh, in School of uh, Dental Medicine over there. Wow, cool. So you're even busy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's good. Um, so when you were, when, what year were you funded by the Arthritis National Research Foundation? Altogether is from 2011 to 2013. Perfect. And so when you were um, funded by us, the project you were working on dealt with osteoarthritis. And I wanted to send, I did a little bit of research on what you were working on. And it said, um, your research involved a molecule called, I hope I pronounced this right, um, hyaluronin? Hyaluronin. Hyaluronin. Um, could you explain what that is? Hyaluronin is a polysaccharide and is made up by repeating disaccharide units means uh, two sugar units, two simple sugar units, and repeating of those two sugar units make hyaluronic acid. The reason I'm interested in hyaluronic acid is because hyaluronic acid is a major extracellular component in the cartilage cells, which closely associated with osteoarthritis. As we know that osteoarthritis is uh, the major uh, problem uh, in the osteoarthritis patient is because of the wear and tear, typically wear and tear, which is breaking down uh, by age or by injury uh, of the, the articular cartilage, which is the cartilage um, that on the surface of the joint for the lung bones. And the research that you or the way you're working on from ANRF, is that still what you're doing today? Exactly. Absolutely. Cool. So, Good. yes. Uh, I was able to uh, utilize, uh, you know, the fund provided by NRF and create the transgenic mice and to make it possible for the first time to study the direct genetic uh, mechanism of and also relationship of hyaluronic with osteoarthritis. And I think some is what you found that the people who have osteoarthritis don't have enough hyalur hyaluronin in them? Well, that's a very good question. It's already well known that the osteoarthritis patient has reduced amount of hyaluronic in their joint fluid, which is the sonoa joint fluid. So, and but it was not known if this is a, a reduced hyaluronic in the joint fluid is associated with the genetic loss of hyaluronic. So, my study kind of is. Uh, it's studying um, the direct, uh, in, you know, the interactions or the relations of uh, uh, genetic loss of hyaluronic to the osteoarthritis. Can you explain a little bit like what you have found so far since you've been working on it? Of course, yeah. I have so much to talk about. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, yes. So, well, as we know that we have known there is uh, dramatically reduced uh, hyaluronic components uh, in the uh, sonoma joint fluid for the osteoarthritis. And because of that, and people have started to use hyaluronic injection to temporarily reduce the pain of the joint for osteoarthritis patients. So, it, so they get some more, another, a bigger dose of that hy hyaluronin in their system, like when, before they lost it. Exactly. For some reason, we don't have it enough of it, we inject it, and it's serving as like lubricant, you know, like engine oil. Yeah. Into it. Right. So, but people already know what's the mechanism behind it. 
is there like a molecular or signaling mechanism behind it or genetic cause of it that make, you know, the osteoarthritis patient, you know, have less uh, amount of hyaluronic in their joint. So my work, uh, you know, especially founded by the NRF is uh, just uh, created or made the genetic uh, model, a mouse model, uh, which enable us the first time to just knock down the gene that make the hyaluronic okay, specifically in the joint area, and to see what's going to happen. Thanks for watching part one of our interview with Dr. Lee. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out at curearthritis.org for all the latest news.